Yeah, we've got a very large collection of almost 300 um, paintings. The Trust keeps the top three winners in each category as part of the, the prize. Um, and it's become part of a, a, quite a large archive of paintings which chronicle Gibraltar's buildings and sites over the last 30 years. Well, an eclectic mix of art styles and, of course, artists, but for the Trust, perhaps more importantly, that it captures a moment of Gibraltar's history for posterity. Yeah, um, there's buildings that have disappeared, like the Theatre Royal, for example, is one of the earlier years, and the Piazza, the changes that John McIntosh Square has gone through. Um, and it's not only the places that we capture the changes of, there's also artists who started as very young children and are now competing in the adult section, and you, you see their developing styles, and some have gone on to become artists or designers in their own right, so it's quite a nice um, training ground, I think, for people to try something a bit out of their comfort zone. Well, of course, we might walk past a lot of these locations every day, but different when you actually have to look at it and study it to paint it. You get a more in-depth feel for the location. Yeah, I think one of the main aims of the competition when it started 30 years ago was to get people to stop, sit and really study a place and think about what happened there, what the history that made it, the people that have been through it. And really I think it's a way of like contemplating our past in a more relaxed way and capturing it through whatever your chosen media is. Do you run out of locations? No, um, definitely not. I mean, we're blessed in Gibraltar that we've got so much. Um, we've done a couple of places twice, like we revisited Catlin Bay at like a 15-year interval, and we've also recently redone Wellington Front. Wellington Front was one of the first places that the Trust did back in 1991, so we did it a couple of years ago after the refurbishment. So it's nice also to capture the way that we look after our places and hope and refurbish them and give them new life for, for the future. How are these 82 paintings chosen? Um, they're all winners. Um, we've chosen, it's a bit of a random selection through to a variety of artists, to categories, children's and junior and adults, and different media as well. So we just wanted to give a, a snapshot really, because with over 300 you can imagine, first of all, there's nowhere to hang them all, and also framing is quite a large task in itself. So we were rather limited in that sense, but still we've managed to fill quite a few vaults here at Bagarisa's gallery.